been at it, I've been moving with a purpose. Show respect to execution. If I got it, I deserve it. Let them know every day I go hard, cause I want it all. This was all hard work, luck was not involved. My father is speaking at church in about 10 minutes. So I gotta get to church. Hopefully I can record his speech and you guys can see a little what he's about. But right now the objective is getting there. I just came from the gym. I had to run home and shower. And then I'm on my way to the church. But luckily enough, it's only about three minutes away from me. So these five minutes I got to get there means nada. Because I should be there beforehand. I don't know if I can record. It is church. I want to be respectful. So, I'll ask. I'll ask. Is it right to record in church? I've never done it, personally. But I know people who have, and I don't know if it's a sign of disrespect or not. But, I guess I'll ask, and hopefully you guys can see the speech that he gives i never really heard my father give a speech unless it was me when i'm suspended from school and those speeches didn't go so well um because i got suspended again but enough about me today's about him have you ever sat down and thought to yourself am i going to have both of us would like to believe the answer is yes. Truth be told, everyone is not going to make it, and that list can include Christians in the Church of Christ. I want to look at the word faith for a moment. All right. Complete trust or confidence in someone or something. Strong belief in God or in the darkness of a religion based or spiritual apprehension rather than fear. I find it funny that we chose to teach our kids to believe. The little guy put a pot of gold at the end of the rain. Tiny people with wings and teeth. And I won't go too far earlier for that big guy squeezing down your chin. <laughs> you all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. We have all taught it to kids something to believe in. But yeah. yet, we have to learn to question the word of God. My soul is not something to hear me. The right. word of God was left to educate right. and instruct us. All scriptures Scriptures is given by inspiration of God and is proper for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. The Bible is our past, present, and future. We are blessed right now because we are breathing and living among each other. What about when we walk out that door today? You know, tomorrow is not promised to any of us. That's right. Our God is a forgiving God. He grants us forgiveness when we repent. But we are expected to better ourselves. Baptism. Refers to a person being submerged in water and coming up out of it when it promised to follow Jesus. Right? It's a new beginning. You are a new day in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. It's a do over. All sins forgiven, washed away. A chance at eternal life. When you are baptized in the Lord's church, that is, the church of Christ, yeah. you are added. Yeah. There's no application. There's no vote. There's no waiting period. Okay, come on. The church of Christ is ready for you when you are ready for us. Amen. Just call our name. And we'll be here. Amen. I started off at the New York Church of Christ on Glenway Street, and I want to say there was a seed that was planted All right. way back then. Way back then. Yeah. Now that seed didn't grow very quickly, <laughs> but the thing about it, the people back then that wanted that seed, I can see them time to time. Sister Green, I used to see you every time I go vote. Yeah. And you come to check. Say, can you get there? 
All went on to the church. You need to get back in. I said, I promise I'm coming back. And the thing about it, it never, ever came back. And once I came back and I see started struggling, then the Blue Hill Church of Christ continued to water that seed. And I want to say thank you all. Amen. Just watched my father speak for the first time. It was really good. I made a lot of new friends and they asked me to come back. No, I'm a believer, but I'm not like really religious. So one step at a time, but I, I'll get there. Dad, what's wrong? My life's a TV show. Here's another episode. Sticking to the scripts where I'm always skeptical. Starring me, 